are. So hold on. We, we can't win foreign wars and we can't run a DMV, but we can control every bird in the sky? We can. I mean, and I appreciate you allowing me to share this information on here. A lot of the media won't let me talk about well, is this Is this a shtick? I mean, do you really, I mean, are, do you really in your heart? Why would it be a shtick? Because yeah, there I mean, are you, you birds report, everywhere. You report on UFOs in this show, yes? Well, I don't report on them. That UFOs often. are, I mean, I respect what you guys talk about on here. You're letting bird robots on the show? You're letting UFOs in the so show? So do you think, the, I, I could see the government using some birds maybe as drones to disguise them, but you're saying mm -hmm. all birds, the pigeons here in New York City. Every, every bird. You just watched Fox News host Pete Hegseth push back against conspiracy theorist Peter McKindu, who founded the Birds Aren't Real conspiracy movement. Now, in case this wasn't already painfully obvious, this is not actually a real movement. Peter McKindu is a satirist who's playing a character. However, Pete Hegseth seemingly took it serious. Now, you might assume that he's playing along, and that's entirely possible, to be fair. But then again, Pete Hegseth is one of the dumbest hosts on the entire network, so it's entirely possible that he's also duped here. But regardless, it is incredibly ironic for Fox News of all places to cover this, considering that they're the ones being made fun of here. In a 2021 interview with leaders of this movement, they explained why they founded it. Quote, what birds aren't real truly is, they say, is a parody social movement with a purpose. In a post-truth world dominated by online conspiracy theories, young people have coalesced around the effort to thumb their nose at, fight, and poke fun at misinformation. It's Gen Z's attempt to upend the rabbit hole with absurdism. It's a way to combat troubles in the world that you don't really have other ways of combating, said Claire Cronus, 22, a Birds Aren't Real organizer in Pittsburgh. My favorite way to describe the organization is fighting lunacy with lunacy. And that right there is the point of this movement. Some of the organizers sadly have lost family members to conspiracy cults. So, I mean, this is kind of their way of coping and their way of responding to that. And the reason why I said that it was interesting for Fox News of all places to cover this in particular is because they're maybe the biggest spreaders of conspiracy theories, right? Certainly the ones with the most legitimacy and furthest reach. I mean, this network is literally being sued for defamation by someone who received harassment after Tucker Carlson accused him of being a secret government agent. And not to mention, this network has also promoted anti-vaccine misinformation. Their hosts have called climate change a hoax multiple times for over a decade. Tucker Carlson has promoted the white supremacist great replacement conspiracy theory. They've promoted the big lie, accuse doctors of mutilating the genitals of trans, trans children. I mean, it just goes on, right? They, they've said so many lies that they have brainwashed an entire generation. I mean, this network is in part why Birds Aren't Real exists in the first place. And Pete Hegseth in particular is one of the most conspiratorial people at the network, which is why it's ironic that he'd conduct the interview and not necessarily absurd to think that he's not in on the joke. For example, this is someone who has quite literally openly questioned germ theory on air. I don't think I've washed my hands for 10 years. <laughs> really, I don't, I, I don't really wash my Someone hands help ever. me. No, oh, no, no. I, I inoculate myself. Uh, it's not, germs oh, are not yeah, a real thing. True. I can't see them. Therefore, they're not real. So you're becoming immune to all of the, all the exactly. bacteria. Exactly, I can't get sick. Yeah, and again, it's plausible that he's being half serious there, but first of all, he looks like someone to me who doesn't wash his hands ever, so I believe him when he says that. And second of all, the way that he said it sounded like Teehee just kidding after he saw the reaction when everyone laughed. And once he saw that they laughed, he's like, oh, huh, Teehee, I'm just joking. But I mean, the most egregious conspiracy theories from Pete Hegseth that he's promoted come in the form of election denialism, which is troubling considering it puts our democracy in danger. And if we want to be really generous, he's flirted with election denialism, but nonetheless, it's still harmful. So let's watch. And took on one of the hosts on the lie that is fueling the spate of these so-called election integrity bills. Do you remember a second ago when I talked about the big lie? This is exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, and the reason that so many folks believe just, in this country you just is got, because folks on like you get on television, television James, every night and, say and repeat the lie over and over ID. again. We're not talking about that. We, well, I, we just, you just went I, on national television and said you listen, don't want Pete, voter ID, revealing Pete, exactly what Democrats... And it's so condescending to say that people can't get identification. Do, Pete, have you, you, have you found listen, someone you, in your district that can't get identification? 
You have made a lot of money personally, and you've enriched a lot of corporations with advertising by getting on here and spewing lies and conspiracy theories to folks who that trust you. About my and so what I'm asking you to do is I to see. tell your voters right now that Donald Trump hey, lost the election you've in 2020. At least you resolved that? the lie that is did you, Democrats did you are now for voter asked? ID. It's not did you your show, sir. But at least, did, I, at least you resolved the idea that Democrats are not for voter ID. Did Donald Trump lose the election in 2020? Real quick. Can you answer the question? Did Donald Trump lose the election in 2020? I'm answering questions. I'm not... So does he not want to say that Trump lost the election because he knows he'll be roasted by MAGA chuds or does he actually think that Trump did win but doesn't want to vocalize that because he'll be labeled as a conspiracy theorist? I mean, you'll never know when it comes to Pete Hegseth because he is one slimy, disingenuous bastard. So it is incredibly ironic that Fox News of all places is talking about birds aren't real when they are the ones being satirized by this movement. But the reason why they brought on Peter McKindu is to promote a new Fox Nation film about this movement. And the subtitle itself kind of gives away the game and refers to it as the joke that became a movement. But the wording of the subtitle kind of leads me to believe that Pete was genuinely duped because maybe he thought that it started out as a joke but then became a real movement and Peter McKindu was one of the individuals who actually started to really believe this. I don't know, but the response from Fox News' audience is even more interesting because some of them actually did take this serious, and that's because Peter McKindu is a genius. He's really good at selling this. But before we look at the reactions from Fox News' audience, which is incredible, by the way, uh, here's the first part of that interview. Birds are fake. The conspiracy is out now on Fox Nation, and Peter McAdoo is the public information officer of Birds Aren't Real. So, Peter, you're telling me you believe that there are no living birds. I believe it. I know it, actually. You know it. I know it as proof, yes. All birds. Uh, every bird in the U.S., I know. Does that include chickens? Is a chicken a bird? A chicken's a bird. A chicken's a bird. So I just fed my chickens really? back home. They didn't seem to be robots. Yeah, that's kind of how biotechnology works. The government's making uh, biohybrids where there are birds and robots uh, that the government's combining. Annie Jacobson's done some great work on this. So you're saying they have human characteristics, the eyes, the wings. Not human the... characteristics, they have bird characteristics. What the government did is from 1959 through 2001, they systematically replaced every uh, bird in the sky with a government surveillance drone replica that looks identical to a real bird, spies on us every day, so when you walk outside, I mean, there's probably, you know, 100 cameras in here. There's more cameras outside than there are. are so hold on. We, we now, right after that is where Pete Hegseth begins to push back. But what I found even more interesting than Pete Hegseth response is the response from the Fox News audience. Because when you look at the comment section overall, the actual Fox News viewers, if you can kind of suss out who actually is a true believer, they responded in one of two ways. They either tried to debunk the conspiracy theory because they believed that Peter McKindu was being serious or they kind of thought that it sounded a little bit compelling themselves. Most of them did not realize it was a joke, though, by my estimation. So the highest upvoted comment reads, I'm amazed how the government planted a nest of bird eggs in my door wreath, and then somehow they hatched into baby robot cameras. I'll be darned if that mama bird wasn't programmed to sit and record. I mean, watch me looking at her baby's growing programming. I mean, growing process over the weeks. Now, others responded to that by laughing or calling him wow. Act, but this was my favorite reply smartest conservative because <laughs> i mean that's exactly it now this person says it might be a little more believable if he didn't say every bird no way this guy doesn't even believe his own theory you can see that in his body language so we have a body language expert here weighing in a bunch of flat earthers now have a new conspiracy theory to obsess about i mean as if fox news viewers aren't as conspiratorial as flat earthers themselves but i mean they have no self-awareness uh this person says this is what the universities are teaching our kids today what a wonderful future this world has this is is so sad that he actually believes all birds are fake. He needs psychological help ASAP. But here's where we get to the potential recruits. I never heard this theory before, but glad the news is finally open to show more of the truth. It's scary how there are still so many people out there that think a theory like this is crazy, considering all and everything that simply just is. I hope they actually start believing this. It's just funny at this point. This person says, I believe some birds could be fake to spy on people. 
but this guy's a bird brain. There's truth to everything. Now, some commenters knew that he was trolling and pointed out the irony. This person says, this, of all things, is where Fox wants to draw the line. And this person adds, the lack of self-awareness of the typical viewers is actually funny. And that right there is such a good point. Why can't these Fox News viewers apply just a little bit of logic to other conspiracy theories? Why not question other things that Fox hosts tell you? Why believe every single thing that they say and not question it? But you see, that's kind of the genius of this conspiracy movement, right? Because if it forces normal conspiracy theorists to apply just a little bit of logic to this because it's so absurd, maybe this will kind of train them to think more critically about other outlandish things that they hear. Now, I think that's kind of wishful thinking, so it's probably not going to happen, but one can hope, right? Hopefully that's the outcome of this conspiracy movement. But I mean, you've really got to give a lot of credit to Peter McKindu here because this wouldn't work if he wasn't able to sell it so well. And Sam Cedar interviewed him on Majority Report a while back in character, and it was absolutely hilarious. I'm going to link to that down below. And he's managed to get on local news outlets multiple times. And here's one of the first interviews that he did that went viral. And this is kind of where he got on my radar. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. So are there people that find your account and think that it's real? You know, I think there's a lot of people that find our social media accounts and see a different side of Gen Z in America. Uh, you know, Gen Z is full of some amazing men, women, and children that are aiming for change. And I think that that is, you know, just what our movement's all about. But it's more than just Gen Z's falling for conspiracy theories. Why? <laughs> oh my right? God, I'm so nervous. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Well, we hope you're okay. Why don't we give you some time to collect yourself? If you need help, let us know in the control room there. And uh, we'll get back to you if we can. That right there is comedic genius. So in a way, this movement has come full circle, right? This movement was created to make fun of Fox News viewer types, and now they're being covered by Fox News, ironically, and some of the viewers think that he's the crazy one, or they find his conspiracy maybe a little bit compelling, just a tiny bit. Either way, I'm a fan, and if you want to learn more, I will link you to their website down below. But credit to Peter McKindu, because he is absolutely a legend, and what he's doing here is, I think, a public service in shedding light on just how these types of folks think right because it's not just that he's pushing this absurd theory the way that he sells it he uses the same types of arguments that other conspiracy theorists use QAnoners, flat earthers right and based on what he says it's very difficult to debunk so you just kind of have to dismiss it as crazy and this is the same thing with other conspiracy theorists right these folks are convinced that they have this unique truth that nobody else is privy to and so if he can kind of hold a mirror to all of those folks then maybe he can do some good maybe where there's glue. Mama. You see them all the time. I mean, it's constant. Mama. My children will be like, Mama, glue, 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 glue. I turn Mama. on TV, there's glue in the background. Every TV show, news media, glue, why? Glue, 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 They're everywhere. Glue, 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 gl